today I'm here to correct some wrongs. I may have you know, done a few things wrong here and there in this pack. And uh, well, I've definitely realized what one of those was. Well, you guys told me that the snowman that I summoned was the wrong snowman. And I 100% agree with you. This is not the one that I needed. It says use chemical X. And I think I used chemical Y on it. So chemical X. Uh, let's see. Was chemical X. No, I don't think I made chemical X. Nor can you make chemical X. So after doing a little bit of digging, apparently what we have to do is... I mean, it doesn't really have a recipe that's shown, uh, but I don't think the mutant heads show up on brewing recipes. They do. I hope the recipe isn't completely gone. We're going to see. So I'm going to take the water bottles, and then I believe this will make a mundane potion. I don't remember what gunpowder actually does, but then we'll take gunpowder, then go to glowstone, and then use a mutant skull, and that should hopefully make the chemical X which I believe is what the Powerpuff Girls, that, that's what changed the, yeah. So now we have Splash Potion of Water Bottle. <laughs> splash Water Bottle. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's what turned the Powerpuff Girls into the, they were like, Chemical X. Man, good old Powerpuff Girls, what a time. So that'll change, right? That bar is kind of weird because it doesn't, it goes really quick and then it, you can't see. So now it's a, a thick splash potion. Oh, so yeah, I guess it is. It just doesn't have, it doesn't show you in JEI, which there's a lot of things in JEI that don't honestly show you how to craft them. Um, for example, fireworks. Fireworks, it doesn't show you how to craft firework, even though you can, just paper and gunpowder. Yeah, here we go. Chemical X, okay. Interesting. So this is going to be the real golem. Is that what, uh, is that what can be used? Is that what should be used on the shulker? Let me check the end. A mutant shulker. No, that we got the mutant shul shulker. We actually did that one. That was the right shulker. So this needs to be used on the passive mob. I mean, all we can do is test it out. I have a couple here. So just in case it explodes like the other ones did, I have a backup. All right, there he is. Hit it with a chemical X. Give it a moment. Don't die on me. Oh! Well, that one didn't work. <laughs> it's like these poor test subjects. I do have more melons being processed, by the way. Chemical X. Come on, buddy. I know you got it in you. I only have three of these. Oh! See, wait a minute. That's the same one. That's the same one. You know what? It lied to me in the book. It said in here. <laughs> but maybe be to kill this particular one, you have to use that particular splash potion. So after I kill it, it'll work. But it says use chemical X, so we did. But he, he's still passive, poor fella. And I killed it. And nothing. Huh. Now there is one final thing that I can try. Maybe we throw chemical X on that guy. I, I don't know if that would work. Now, I don't have very many of these left. I only have a couple, but I can go ahead and test this out. Let's see if we can get another one to spawn. We won't use this. We'll use a Z compound. Oh, that one goes instantly. So the Zs are, are a lot better, but there's supposed to be a 50% chance, unlike the other ones. Wow. We are, I'm literally going to have to make more. Please, with the Y formula, give me something good. So after spending a bit of time making more, it is morning again, and here we are. So I'd also made some more chemical X as well to kind of help us just in case we need more of those, because I'm not quite sure if this is actually going to be like a multiple step process. 
I am just testing though, like sort of testing the waters here. So I know that the Z can turn this because we've tested that. But it is a 50% chance and it just seems like there it goes. And now I hit this with that and it's actually got my name on it. Chosen Architect. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh... No, it doesn't. It chases. Interesting. So yeah, so now I guess either way that quest for some reason is not working. Hmm. So with that epic failure, I think it's time for us to go find an actual boss to fight. And well, that is actually going to be back in the end, believe it or not. If um, if my quests tell me properly, there should be an Ender Golem and also there's an Ender Guardian. So this is part of the Cataclysm mod, I believe, the Ender things. So you have a Pyro Piglin spawn egg that we get from that. And we get this stuff, which is going to help propel us to the Void Worm, which is super cool. I actually like the Void Worm. Um, even though the progression through Alex mobs to get to this point, while it is tedious and I have done the whole progression uh, when I played better Minecraft in its uh, originality, this right here is quite in game to get. So, and it, it takes a lot. I couldn't even imagine getting it reliably normally. You would have to have some way of getting a fly into the nether. It's, uh, it's a long process, but I, I need to figure out what this is all about. Um, so kill an ender guardian. I think actually, I don't know if the ender guardian is a part of the, no, it's part of the cataclysm mod. Interesting. So what is the other one? It's the golem ender golem wait we've killed an ender golem before is that what i think it is an ender golem so this is a different one as well this is from the cataclysm there is another ender golem in here and that's the spawning fort but it's a different ender golem okay so we have those guys to find and i i guess we're just going to be doing a lot of flying in the end well, it's time to head to the end city. So flying around here, I can tell you there is some weird stuff going on. All kinds of weirdness spawning over here, but I believe this place right here is the actual place where we are going to find what we're looking for. I'm almost positive it is. Um, and then over here, there's a maze. Oh boy. Oh boy, those... Those don't look friendly. <laughs> There's this giant maze structure that's just floating in the sky. And then there's also this thing, which I'm almost positive is a like remnant structure of like days. Yeah. It's a, a metropolis or was a metropolis. That's, I mean, gone by the wayside and links into this whole area oh god they just oh my god that scared me oh i was not expecting anything to come out of the shadow it's like that what did that scare me so much i'm a dork oh my gosh so <laughs> that's from the outer end wow that scared me that did not need to scare me oh that's why because there's a spawner in here and as far as loot goes i mean not really anything crazy what does this get us? Ooh, this makes these pretty blue blocks. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's just horrifying sounding. So yeah, this apparently leads us here. Now I'm taking a look. Let's go back up top. Because apparently I think like the, the story behind this, something used to live here. Maybe the, uh, the end people lived here and, uh, you know, had a had a civilization and then the civilization was was lost these are apparently in rods oh lights dangle from them if they're placed like this 
That's super neat. And like, this is a pretty cool build. Like, I like builds like this. It reminds me, actually, I played a pack uh, called Sky Factory 4, and this kind of reminds me of actually how I set my my actual base up. Um, it was it's very reminiscent to this. You know, I might as well do the the parkour like it wants me to. No wonder they they disappear. Look at the, if you had to do this every day to get to where you wanted to go, you'd probably be a dead civilization as well. Wow, these blocks are super bright. This is cool looking though. This the interior of this. I think this has been updated since the last I've played with this. For sure. This ladder takes me here. And yeah, there's more of these flowers. Huh. I'm gonna break through real quick. Use that. Perfect. Alright, well, to get back on task, because I have no idea how long it's actually going to take us to fight these bosses. It could take us a while. It could take us no time at all. I mean, based on our current history, it really isn't taking us long at all to fight just about anything. But let's see. Where is this thing at? It's on our map. It's this thing right over here. By the way, this maze. I don't know if the... Uh, from the loot, from the loot standpoint, it didn't look like there was a whole lot to be gained. And I think these rooms are the the main attraction. No, these are just stairs. Huh. I figured like the square rooms would probably have something in them. Yeah, like this room. Oh. You know, I didn't I didn't make my stomach uh sink at all, you know? <laughs> oh geez. So yeah, there's some chests in here. Oh, there is loot in here. But it's in the form of uh, just breakable blocks. That's diamond. Ooh. That was nice. We got two blocks of diamonds for free. All right, let's find the entrance to this place. I have no idea what to expect no idea and it could be mazed up but these guys ooh oh they are gross looking i mean super cool at the same time they're like cockroach beetles i don't i don't even know how to oh apparently i'm getting some blessings from hermes which is nice oh gosh they're like the worst form of endermites Oh, they even have wings? Like, when I killed that one, it looked like wings opened up. I don't... That'd be cool if they had wings. Okay. I'm killing enough of these. These are called... Vo they had void jaw. Ooh. That's gross. Okay, enough. I, man, they're spawning like crazy here. So, what are these used for? So, they're used for arrows. Are there spawners or something? How do I get in here? I want to find the entrance. Got to be around here somewhere. If you're squishing enough bugs. Oh man, there's so many. Oh wait, that's a special one. Oh, we're being overrun. I thought I was ready for this. I'm not. They're actually doing quite a bit of damage. I'm regaining my health quickly, but... Woo! These guys are actually pretty tough. Hit up with that protection spell. It could only... could only mean one thing, right? It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh boy, I just got slowness all of a sudden. Oh, wait. What? That's so cool. These slow you down. Are we making our way towards something? We gotta be. God, these things are gross, man. Quit. They're making awful sounds, too. 
We have these are in rods. Those do not look like in rods. Placed vertically. We're making it through this maze. I think this is a maze. What? Is it obstructed? I feel like it might be obstructed. By the way, it turning dark is not. Let's get a pickaxe. Any pickaxe would be fine. I have no idea what was supposed to be in here, but it's uh, it's not anymore. Huh? I don't see any. Whoa, okay, never mind. I think I found it. Oh, we can break blocks. Oh, there's an Indergrade. He's a friendly. He's a friendly. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I have I have your buddy's helmet. Do not, do not worry. Oh my, I have I have your buddy's helmet on, my dude. Oh. What is it? What is this room? I don't want you to break stuff in here. No. Stop. Let's go back into your room. What are these? Void stones? Those are kind of cool, actually. Oh, I like this. You're a cool dude, but I mean, you're a, a dead one, but still cool. What in the world? These are cool. Cataclysm mod, void. Void stone. Wonder what this is used for, or if it even has a use. This is used to make obsidian trap blocks. Apparently, we can't make this stone, so it is used very specifically for these trap blocks right here, which you can pick up. That's cool. And this is a loot room, I think. And there's a chest. Okay, is it trapped? I just never know. Oh, goodness. You just, you never know if you're going to stumble upon a trap. Um, diamond helmet. Another one of these, uh, space dissectors. Iron shovel, deflect. Not a big fan of reflect. Reflect actually can cause some problems. At least I think so. Wait, where's a shulker at? Are they invisible? Those are empty. Oh, he's in the corner there. And one of them has a potion effect. You do. Has like this lingering potion effect. Okay. They're gone. There's nothing in those. Oh, there's another shulker. Get wrecked. And yep, you're a shulker box as well. Oh, you're actually a shulker box. There's a stellar catalyst in here. What is that? It's a talisman. Blessing of the moon. Each attack with a 15% chance to summon a fallen star that deals 200% of the original damage works only at night. So this is a talisman. I think this is a talisman slot or actually no. There is another slot. I don't remember how to actually access the talisman slot. But there is another slot for this. Aha! It's you on the keyboard. So these, I think, are talisman slots. I, I think. I honestly have no idea. But these are extra ring slots. I don't know if these, these work <laughs> in, the, in that situation. But I know if you hit you, it opens it up. Which uh, definitely gives you some room there. So I, I don't think... There's talisman as a actual slot here. Oh, there is a talisman slot right there. And there's a feet slot. That's new. Um, so let's put this. Because the scarab's also a talisman. This is a talisman as well. Uh, defeated mobs with the amount of 25% of their maximum health increases the wearer's damage dealt by 0.1%. Uh, each, each soul consumed. And this one teleports, this is based on Curus Fruit. 
I like this one though. 15% chance to summon a fallen star. That sounds pretty cool, even at night. That sounds pretty wicked. I, only, I can only imagine though what a fallen star looks like. I wonder if this is considered night, by the way. Ooh, what are, what are you? Um, it's another loot room or? Ooh, had a golem in there. These are purper blocks. Just, I think it's just another loot room. Wait, that's a corrupted pumpkin. That's where that item come from. That's where that come from. Projectile, spit, snare, extended time. Ah, I think I know what that does. Hey, quit. You're gonna get the, you're gonna get this used on you. Aha, it literally freezes them. They're snared. That's really powerful too. Hero's chest plate. I think we have that. A bubble bow. And these are all diamonds. <laughs> wow. I think this was actually worth it. Wait. <gasps> There's a trap door. There's more. That was only the start. Oh. <gasps> There's another Ender Golem. Is there more to this? This guy is a higher tier. Get wrecked. Dude, he is straight up just poxing me. I want to use this. It requires souls. I think I have two souls. Ow. Barely. Nope, it's not going to work. Look at me just chill, just chilling while he's when they're attacking me. Our armor, man, my helmet has even taken damage. Is it unbreakable? That's crazy. So we get another one of these void core. When right click, you can summon a void rune. Oh, that's the same attack that it has. Oh, that's cool. And so does that like slow things down? That's a regular ender chest. Let's go right. There's another one. Another ender golem. Wow, we killed that one really fast. All right, so is this completing in stuff? So we killed this, but there's not an ender guardian yet. Unless we're working our way towards finding an ender guardian. Believe me, I'm just as clueless as you are. <laughs> just as clueless. I have to say though, when it comes to loot, these are actually some pretty high tier loot uh, pools that it's pulling from. I mean, like that's an indestructible on that. I mean, these are high tier armor pieces, cave crawler. Definitely up there on the tier of, uh, of quality, which is really nice. But this maze is massive. I mean, I don't even know. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to keep going in circles, I guess. So I'm not crazy. There is more to this. Look, there's iron trap doors here. And I don't have a pick on me, but I do have this. So what are you? <gasps> I think we found the Ender Guardian. Right? This is the thing that our quest book has. Kill the Ender Guardian. Oh! Oh, the music. Oh. What are you gonna do, bro? Huh? Oh, yeah? Oh! Ha! Gotcha! I have a protection spell. Man, this is some, this is some hyped up music. Y no, he's like trapping me. Dude, you are, you are cool looking though. Man, the models. Ugh. 
These are some sick looking models. Ow, that one actually did a fair amount of damage. Get him. Oh, look at this. Another level. What? Oh, his face is open now. Dude. That is cool. What are you going to do? I'm flying. You made me fly. Oh, I love that. This is cool boss design. This is cool. This is probably one. This is my. This is definitely up there on my list of favorites. Oh, man. Dude. Couple of hits. And you're done for, my, my friend. You're done. You're done. Thank you for that awesome music, though. That was... That was cool. And fun. And what I get. The Gauntlet of Guard. When in main hand, you can pull entities with right click. So it'll pull entities towards me? What? We'll have to test that out on some of the mobs. Like if something gets too far away, of course you can just right click the gauntlet while we're holding this thing. How sick is that? This room is beautiful though. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. So, so cool. So after doing some testing, this thing definitely pulls entities towards you, which is kind of useful. Like uh, not just for weapons. Like if you just want to pull something straight towards you, like a mob and you want it to be pulled like a, a cow, so you didn't have any other mod, that would work. That'd be perfect. But it's main use definitely. Look at this little guy. <laughs> it's main use is definitely going to be to punch things. Look at this damage, 11 attack damage. And it also gives us an extra armor buff while we're wearing it. Literally just making us have another crazy weapon. Yeah, just probably even better than this. Like if we enchanted it. Yeah, we can we can enchant it as well. And uh, oh, goodness, as if we weren't powerful enough. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Of course, if you did, you guys know what to do. Smack that subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up. But of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to be a huge thanks to Spin over on Discord. Thank you for becoming a Discord premium member. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you're interested in becoming one as well, you can find that link down in the description below to join the Discord. And of course, you don't have to be a premium member to join the Discord. It's absolutely free to everyone. We do have a partner Discord, so it is quite a safe community over there, and I would love for you guys to join it. Of course, it's discord.gg forward slash chosen architect, and you can find it linked down below. And also, while you're there, be sure to check out my Twitch and give me a follow over there if you would. I'd really appreciate it. Over on Twitch, I've been playing Satisfactory, and I'm already addicted. I, I, I'm addicted. It, it's, it's really addictive. But anyways, I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next episode, and as always, thanks for watching.